Hi guys, new day, new video. Today I am covering even more apps than I have done yesterday and the day before. So just hop right into it. Uh, the first app I'm going to try out is Xamarin. So as always, I'm going to do the complete process. So I will start to download and then I will start with the installation and then probably a demo application if it's run that far. All right, get started, that's fine. Download install, download studio for uh, Mac. That's all on the agenda, so there are two programs or two applications which I can test at once. All right, so let's start the download. I guess that's just the, the install itself. It downloads the file application, so let's unpack this. Yes, I want to install who's the studio. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any specific version right now for the M1 chip. I just headed over to the Xamarin page and downloaded it, so there could be, I'm not sure. Open up, but right now we just want to test if it's working or not. Alright, so that's the installation program. Yes, I want to continue, sure. Bushy for Mac, .NET Core. Interesting, I already installed .NET 5. Uh, iOS. Why not? And now the installation and download process is going on, so I'll catch you guys if the download is finished or when the download is finished. See you later. All right, so now we as Visual Studio is telling me that it needs Xcode for iOS and macOS application programming, uh, which I don't want to install yet. So we can do this later. Or should we do it now? I don't know. <laughs> ah, let's wait. So now we are opening Visual Studio with Xamarin, and as you see, it's opening. It's not yet the fastest. All right, I don't want to use that now. Should you from Mac? Hmm. Should you code? I'm most familiar with. All right, let's say new. And okay, see what we got here. Let's see an iOS application. I probably will have to install Xcode as well. Okay, let's see. Single view app. Uh, test. Uh, let's say test. General team. I don't care. iOS fourteen point one. Okay, that's fine. Not the latest version, but that's okay. Okay, let's create a project. Okay, that's, I will not lie, but that's much, much faster than uh, Android Studio was yesterday. So that's quite interesting, but okay, I guess what? I will just install Xcode so that we can get the full experience. Xcode 12, I guess that's in the App Store. But that will take up quite a while so guys I will see you when this installation is finished all right we did it after close to an hour Xcode is finally installed so we can move on I guess we have to close Vision Studio and start again just to make sure everything is loaded up fine. So you can see, like VS Code is jumping all around. It's opening. Come on, let's open our test project there. That was quite, quite 
fast. But now it's okay. Packages successfully restored, that's fine. And next thing I want to do is uh, just want to build. Okay. There is an error going on. Request a modified extension point with identifier interface builder. That's something related to Xcode. Okay. That is not what we want to see. Xcode 8 or newer. Let's fire up Xcode. I'm pretty sure it's a new version because it should be the latest version. Agree. Maybe we have to start it once. Okay, now it's installing some components. That could be resolved issue. Okay, so there is Xcode version 12. Okay, new project. But I wanted to run it right there. Let's make a rebuild. So I'm not sure if it's taking longer now, but it seems to be. I mean, Xcode is working fine. It's an Apple native product, so I won't um, dive deep into that. Okay, that was the issue, which is now resolved. So, oh, that's weird. Okay. Now I do have more simulation options which were not available before. So let's go to iOS 12 Pro. Yeah, and now let's run the application. Yeah, sorry for that. I basically this was the first time I'm using Xamarin on Mac OS, so sorry for the long waiting, but now we are running the application on the iPhone simulator. And I'm quite curious. So simulator is starting. Looking good so far. Yeah, Apple logo. Oh, it's also the first start of the simulator. Okay, yeah, I think this could take another while. So see you in a bit, guys. All right, so I guess is working. Let's go back to our launch screen. It's not the main story, but is there a possibility to edit this thing? Okay. Xcode. I don't know why, but you are you cannot. Um, see the, the storyboards. So just make a restart and then see if this, if that fixes the issue. So I'm not sure if the, the performance is that great right now with standard Visual Studio and Xamarin. At least the application is there. You can start it up, but it's nothing to show because guess the storyboard is empty and you cannot edit the storyboard so now everything is broken up okay so after the first hour or so using or installing this Visual Studio Xamarin part I would highly suggest to not use Xamarin right now or to buy an M1 uh, chip Apple Silicon for your production work oh you see now spotlight is Got a problem, so I do not use this setup right now for production related work. Okay, guys, uh, see you in the next one.